This is a perfect little shrimp right here. Pretty much casting as far as I can in the wind. That's a good, I would say, uh, 20 yards. I got some people meeting me up. Not too sure on who's all coming out, but I think Renzo's coming out again. He was in the last video. Uh, the last video, the only thing I forgot to do is to bring a floodlight uh, or a second floodlight. I have my setup right here. It has a floodlight here. I'm gonna put a floodlight in the back of the truck. And uh, we are fishing on the, the side of the road here in Texas City on the dike. Uh, so the generator will be louder. So we'll have to see how the audio does. See if I can't land at least one or two more before the sun goes down. Got about an hour. Hopefully they get here before people start crouching in on the spot. I'd be a keeper. Yes, sir. Nice one. See how big he is. Oh, it's getting all dirty. and a half that's without the tail pinched look at that bam nice one he just broke my hook off of there let me get the hook out put him in the box all right kind of windy today got me about a what was it about a three and a half foot leader evolution popping cork Got about an hour and a half before the wind, or the wind, the, uh, <laughs> I wish. The sun goes down. You just cast out. There was some birds that came over here working. I just cast right by them and hit a 15 real quick. I wasn't recording, so it don't count. But as the sun's going down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw lures today. I just have some shrimp, I'm gonna cast out. Let the shrimp soak, soak out there, see if I can't catch a a few before uh, before the sun goes down. I got one, so it's possible. Oh, little guy. Dang it, you gonna make me get down there. Yeah, I'll leave. Let me go save him. Probably gonna get my shoes all wet. Saved them. All right, what's going on, saltwater soldiers? I'm here at Tech City, at the, pretty much at the end of the dike on the near the dike road. Um, got my whole setup. If you didn't watch the last video, uh, the only thing I forgot to bring, and I told my buddy, uh, he does YouTube as well, is like to have a uh, a floodlight, so that way you can kind of see more or less like the the fish when we hold it up to the camera. You get more of an idea because it's that floodlight that I have up here uh, on the on the lights itself. It just lights up this area, not really the back of the truck too well. So uh, brought my floodlight today and this area will be lit up as well as over there. So we do some night fishing, take city uh, for trout. Uh, got about maybe two more people coming out here. We'll see how that goes. Already got one. I kind of already started recording too. Once I, I cast to see how the spot was gonna be, hit a solid, just like 18 and a half, hit a 15, I threw it back, just hit a little dink, 
and uh, dropped it in the rocks and threw it back. So real quick, I just laid my area out so that way I got another buddy who's gonna park right here, hide the generator from the sound. And uh, that way we, I'm not gonna say take up a lot of area, but we have enough area to fish for, you know, at least two or three of us. So let's get the fishing. Already cast out a few. Hopefully I land at least one or two more before that sun goes down. Make the night a little easier, a little faster. So let's see what happens. Let's get the fishing. All right. Uh oh, might be a little bigger. Oh yeah. Look at that. Definitely need to change it. No. Didn't break the leader. It's a 20 pound liter line. Oh, snap. Come on, buddy, you don't want to get dirty. Solid 16 and a half. I might be done before the guys get here. And I ain't bring no beer. Decent sized shrimp. I like this little Daiwa BG, little 3000. I like the, for the price, can't beat it. I think I paid 89 bucks for it. And then this one, uh, it's just Academy. It, you know, a lot of people uh, kind of iffy on the brand. They say, you know, they sold out, not as good quality. I think it's a, it's a decent rod for the price. It's a decent rod. So that's all I'm doing right there. And got two in the box. Might have three before the sun goes down. Still got a little bit more time. Look at that. Little dink. No, oh, he swallowed that hook. Come on, little guy. There we go. That's probably a, a 10. Oh. Just as I was about to throw you back. There we go. All right, there's my little floodlight. It'll light up all this area. That one will light up all this area. Got my generator waiting on my boy Renzo and Danny. I went ahead and started the generator up. It's gonna get dark pretty quick. Dang. We gonna try to land another fish before we run out of complete daylight. Our little area right there. Check it out. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. Big old bait ball right here and then the, you can see trout shooting right up and trying to get it as well as you see I'm popping out here. Got my boy Renzo right there. 
I know it might be kind of dark, but he whispers to these these trout. He got it down. Oh, oh! My bad, Renzo. Dang, I caught the truck. You know, I got that little that big bait net. I could probably scoop some of those out and put them on a hook. Yeah. You know, the crazy part is, if you were to turn this light either that way or this way, I can see there's about a thousand of them fucking bait for sitting next to me. Oh, yeah. Lorenzo just free lining and he got, you put on the little shrimp, big shrimp? Little shrimp. Little shrimp? Wind's laying down. Little guy. It's slow. It's real slow. Oh, it's set up. I'll throw him back. It's all lit up. See if they see if we can't get him to hit. Uh oh. Might be a good sign. Is that the 15 I let go? <laughs> go ahead, put that in my ice chest. It's slow, but we hit two in a row right here. Oh, hold on. Right here in a brighter light. I'm trying to look through the camera as I talk to you guys. So we hit two in a row right here. They're really not busting. Uh, Renzo, he walked all the way to the end, and no one's really catching anything. Nobody has a limit. Uh, a lot of birds, he said, are down there hitting. Look, there went a trout right there. So I'm gonna keep casting, try to maybe bring it closer. I was going out there, I was getting hit, but really wasn't taking it. Look at that, I forgot to press record. It happened so quick. I mean, nice 18 right there. That's three. Man. Hopefully they show up now. Oh. Little, little guy. Little guy. Man. I don't want you to hurt yourself, man. Probably a 13. Twelve. Oh, thirteen on the money. Just need them to get a little bigger. The old free line. Learn something new every day. I don't think I've ever free line for trout no. out here. No. Nope. I don't think so. It was either always lures or popping court. Always worried about getting hung up. Hung up on some, hung up on some fucking trout, big baby. Hey, Renzo. Is that my last one right there? Flip it. Come on, baby. 
Nice one. Oh. Uh -oh. Dump. Yeah. Come on. Right behind you. Nah. Cheers. Trade you. That's, ooh, that's probably like 18, 19. Nice one. Dang. Right on the lip. You got a video? Yeah. You want to put in there? Come on. What you got? 18, 17, and Money, it's big. Woo, look at that. Check to see if produces. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen and a half. That's four. I caught the end of it. I can't hold him. Might keep. You just splashing everybody. Dang, making it smell like salt water. <laughs> Dang. Dang, I thought, I thought. Hey, use the red ones, bro. Those are the ones that were better. Yeah, I got one of each on there. I, my white one just died. <laughs> no, they bit the head on it, look. And, Took the eye out. <laughs> I felt something hit it. There he goes. Little guy, though. Seventeen? I got a little one. Oh. This is probably thirteen, fourteen. You know what I like about this what we're doing right now? What was that? There's nobody here. Yeah. By ourselves, doing what we do. Oh, throw them on your side. That's some hate, Jay. That's some hate, Jay. You going with the white? Let me get one of them. It don't matter. I just need one more. That shit was instant. That's number five. I'm gonna call it 18. 18? 18 for the eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. He is aggressive, bro. Dick, huh? Look how thick he is. Yeah. Watch that hook. Let's see what we got. Nope, 17. I'll take it though. There's like, that's five right there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, nice ones. Hey, what's going on, saltwater soldiers? So it's the next day. Check out what what I did right there. 
I got the little thing in the way. Nice, solid 17, 18s. We did some grinding. Uh, it was a slow bite. I did not get to uh, throw the my lures, but you know it was a slow bite. I learned something new. Free line and shrimp right at the rocks, and uh, we ended up catching our limit. So that was, that was something. I did get hung up like maybe three times, but it was worth it. You know to continue and catch the limit. I caught what four before the lights even went out. So I think if I would have showed up a little bit earlier. I possibly could have had a limit uh, right at sundown and not even needed the lights. But, you know, that's what fishing is about. It's about learning and experiences and, you know, and sharing. Uh, the light that I fixed, uh, it worked 100, so no problems there. Plan to do some more trips like this, as well as get on to uh, doing some offshore stuff, like with the snapper season opening. Uh, hopefully one of the subscribers come out, you know, and just comment on their DTF uh, in the comments DTF and uh, it's not a charter trip. It's basically we're going to be tournament fishing and, you know, take somebody with us. You can learn a lot, uh, catch a lot of different fish, have some fun. So I appreciate everybody like, comment, subscribe, and please share that. So, if, you know, somebody that may be interested in going offshore, you know what I'm saying? Just tell them, say, hey, look, hit the channel up, subscribe, comment DTF. And, that, and you know saying I'll do a random drawing or something like that everybody that comments DTF and uh, you know try to pull a name for for one of the flat days so I don't want to you know uh, get anybody deterred from being offshore but there's a couple of flat days coming up next week and uh, we, we plan to get out there so thanks again until next time that's what's up